What is going on Safe Moon Army? It is Safe Moon Surge here yet again with another video for you all today. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. To all the new viewers, welcome to Safe Moon, a community-driven innovation for good. And with that being said, make sure to come subscribe, like, and comment. I do appreciate all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. It truly means a lot. Let's get this channel to 10,000 subscribers. I definitely believe we can hit that so make sure to share it with your friends family and let's get this channel growing you guys have been amazing now with that being said let's actually take a quick look at bsc scan here currently we have 652,682 addresses on v2 and the price of safe moon per poo coin uh, you can see that it is in the tens have this little run up here to the 11s and then now we're back down to the tens um, but I think it's just a matter of time. I mean, we did get a lot of exciting news just the other day with the Safe Moon card and being able to do the sign up on the wait list. And so there's a lot of things coming, and it's only a matter of time at this point with Safe Moon. The current volume per deck screener, you can see it's sitting at a million in volume. And let's go ahead and actually just go ahead and jump into Twitter here. So Safe Moon Spidey put this on here and I thought this would be really cool to kind of go over and see which features you guys would like and I'll kind of tell you guys what features I would want. So he did put this list out. Um, this is the wish list. Being able to switch between multiple wallets as primary for the card. That one would be pretty cool. This would bring a ton of volume is to be able to have partnerships with companies such as Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, so, so on and so forth. I think that would be awesome. Uh, gas bonus rewards. That'd be interesting. I don't know what would consist of that, but I think rewards, which we know is coming, would be awesome. Being able to change which crypto you receive back as rewards. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I think that would be an easy, I mean, I say easy, but I know the technicality behind it would be more complex, but that would be pretty awesome to get. Uh, like, for instance, get BUSD. Um, I think that would be pretty cool to just get a lot of your rewards in BUSD or USDT if you do plan to actually build that up and be able to take a loan against it. Tiers of ownership based on SafeMoon Holdings. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. Tap to pay feature, I would love that. That tap to pay feature would be amazing on the SafeMoon wallet. Just tap, go. Direct deposit, this would be pretty awesome. I know a lot of people were talking about this you know if you get your paychecks uh you get anything direct deposit that way they can just build up their savings uh and acquire more safe moon or whatever crypto so that would be pretty cool auto pay for bills yeah one thing i would like for this because i do use venmo a lot to like send people certain or even quickbooks whatever like for my business um auto pay for bills would be pretty sweet i would like that just not think twice about it just gets taken care of every single and this is going to be my favorite part i believe they put it down here but keep that in mind right there with the auto pay because i'll come back to that in a second roundup rounds each transaction up to the nearest dollar amount by buying safe moon with the rest huh yeah i, I mean sure i think i mean i don't know how necessary that is um but yeah i guess roundup could be cool just puts money aside Community card designs. I mean, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Get the community involved, have some cool designs. Apple Pay, yes, I would love Apple Pay. I actually, yeah, ability for the card to calculate and set aside a certain percentage for end of year taxes. Ooh, that's a cool one. That one is really cool. Yeah, that would, and then metal cards. Metal cards would be pretty sweet. Um, I wouldn't ever like use the physical. I would just use my virtual card. But yeah, a metal card would be pretty sweet. Three similar ideas. Being able to stake the primary bag of Safe Moon, but still receive reflections to our wallet to live off of. That is pretty sweet. And I hope and I pray to God Safe Moon figures out a way to make staking so much less complex than every other staking platform that's out there. Don't get me wrong, staking is a great feature and it's something that is very beneficial, 
but please safe moon please if staking is going to be an option make it seamless make it accessible just like everything else they've been doing with the wallet because i don't want to be going to d apps and doing all this stuff to just be able to stake my bag so please make it accessible that's all i ask please because otherwise i'm not going to stake i don't want to go through the pain of having to stake my bag i don't care that's just me personally and if you guys feel the same way, just let me know in the comment section below. Now, this is where I wanted to get to to tie into the auto pay for bills and even the direct deposit. Ability to have a savings account wallet where we can put our main SafeMoon holdings, but choose the reflections to go to in a checking account wallet for spending the card to prevent spending our goal amount. This goes back to the auto pay. So if auto pay can just be attached to our checking account wallet on SafeMoon, right and then we could have our direct deposit go into our savings account that would be awesome 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 ability to auto convert reflections at a certain dollar amount into busd that would be pretty sweet these three the ideas would be great i would love to see these more than anything but then again to that staking point please safe moon please make it easy that's all i ask if we're gonna do staking Make it accessible and easy because I've staked and it's been a pain in the butt. I'm dealing with one right now and I'm still trying to figure it out. So for the love of God, please make staking easy. With that being said, if you guys have not yet, the SafeMoon card joined the pre-launch list now. They had 10,000 plus signups within the first 32 minutes. 10,000 plus. It's been 24 hours since. Um, give or take and who knows how many signups they've had now but i really wanted to touch on this down here crypto draft okay because this is such a just a simplified way borrow against your usdt and ethereum crypto assets the provision of secured crypto draft crypto swap products to users enabling experienced cryptocurrency holders to get funding from zero percent apr allowing you to spend against your collateral easily easily now let's look into crypto draft more who are they what are they what are they going to offer so if we actually come over here to banks um this is actually like a a branch off of them so this is under banks which is who is backing up the safe moon card okay so let's look at this crypto drafts by banks at banks we have built a next generation fintech fintech service that creates further use case for digital assets for our consumers and partners to utilize securely and efficiently our registration and approval with the fca will further support our objective and help us expand our current services by offering secured crypto draft better than a loan crypto swap product to our users okay our product is intended to provide our consumer customers with the ability to secure a credit line on our cards. So it's going to be like a credit line backed by their crypto holdings. Okay. Users can utilize their card to make purchases without having to liquidate their holdings, offering them more freedom than a fixed term loan. This allows users to spend past their card account balance, just like a normal card overdraft. The loan to value ratio will depend on the amount of crypto deposited in the account as well as the number of BXX tokens a user holds. So essentially what they're saying is if you're looking to borrow against your, your crypto, you're going to have to deposit the, the Ethereum or the USDT into the account. So let's say, for example, you want to borrow $100,000, okay? You're going to have to deposit $100,000 worth of your crypto into the account as well as the number of BXX tokens a user holds. Initially, only top crypto such as Bitcoin and Ethereum will be allowed for deposit into the collateral account and users will be able to collateralize one asset at a time. So people are saying, well, Serge, I don't have Ethereum, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? That is where the cross chain comes into play. Let's say you have, um, whether it's SafeMoon that you want to utilize or Evergrow or any of the swap partners. Okay, let's use SafeMoon, for instance. 
Well, let's say you want a hundred thousand dollars, okay, and you want to lend against that, and they only take Ethereum as of right now or USDT. With the cross chain, what you can do is cross chain over a hundred thousand dollars worth of Safe Moon at that time, whatever it may be. Um, you cross chain it over and put it into Ethereum. Then you would take the Ethereum essentially and deposit it into the account that they need. And so you'll deposit that into the collateral account and users will only be able to collateralize one asset at a time. So you can't, with that, I hope that they change that, but if it's all just Ethereum, just deposit, cross chain it all into Ethereum, right? So if you want more, just do it all into Ethereum. Maybe you take Evergrow and you cross chain it into Ethereum, you know, 50,000 of Evergrow, 50,000 of SafeMoon, however you wanna do it, and then cross chain it into Ethereum, and then there you go. Users will be able to quickly deposit their assets into the collateral account and instantly start spending without needing the further to further fund the card. Staking even one Bitcoin at $50,000 will allow users to secure a $5,000 USDT at 0% APR in the new and in the near future holding BXX tokens will allow users to get up 50% loan to value at 0% APR. So currently they have two loan to value bands offered. So up to 10%. So let's say you wanted a loan of 100,000. Well, technically 10% as 0% APR, you would need to actually deposit a hundred a million dollars worth of Ethereum to get a hundred thousand dollar loan at 0% APR. Okay. Now and then at if you wanted more, right, let's say you don't have a hundred thousand, then they have that 10.0 to 35% loan of value at 2% APR essentially. So that's just how this is going to work for the time being. Maybe they adjust this and I'm sure they will, but it's a very interesting way to do it, right? So you would take a million you, if you want just 0%, you could take higher, right? If you wanted 350,000, well, you'll be paying 2% APR on that. So just kind of keep that in mind, right? If whatever you're taking that money out, some people will take it out to go reinvest it into more real estate, which is probably what I'm going to do. Other people are going to do other things, right? And if my real estate is paying me more than that 2% that I'm paying on that loan of 350,000, then guess what? I am netting that difference in the rate of return that I'm making. So just a very, very awesome way to leverage even your crypto, right? And I think this is going to be absolutely massive, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on all this, because I love this. I think this is the most genius thing ever, because at the end of the day, what's going to happen is if you take that loan of 350000 right that 35 percent loan of value at two percent on a you know you leverage a million dollars to get three hundred fifty thousand dollar loan now you're not instead of just selling off your bag of three hundred fifty thousand getting hit with ten percent when you sell and whatever your capital gains tax will be you can now utilize that as a loan not pay any capital gains tax and still make more money depending on what you use that 350,000. I think it's just an absolute and your reflections will ultimately pay for the payment of that loan and then whatever you make f with the money you invested with that 350,000 is just straight profit. So it's just a a really good way to invest to be honest, a great investing strategy. Not financial advice. You know, people can do whatever they want, choose to do whatever they want. But I think this is massive. So with that being said, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I do appreciate all the love and support. I'm glad that this video can kind of offer a different perspective. But with that being said, I will talk to you all in the next one.